When we look at our night sky, all we see is a sea of celestial bodies. Stars, planets, moons, with comets and asteroids, alongside varieties of unknown objects. While some can be captured with high sensoring tools, others still remain a mystery due to their abnormal activities. This reminds me about the incident that happened in October 2017, as astronomers using the PanSTARRS-1 telescope in Hawaii made an unexpected discovery. The telescope's main function is to survey the sky and detect objects in the solar system, like asteroids and comets. On this night, it picked up a faint point of light moving rapidly across the sky, moving at a record-breaking speed of 87 Zarzaren meters or 87 kilometers per second, equivalent to the distance between New York and Long Branch, New Jersey, making it the fastest moving object in the entire solar system. At first, Astronomers weren't sure what they were seeing. They needed further observations over subsequent nights to determine its path and trajectory. What they found was truly bizarre. This object, later named Oumuamua, was passing through our solar system at a very high speed. Its trajectory indicated it wasn't bound by the sun's gravity at all. This was the first clue that Oumuamua wasn't local to our solar system. It originated from elsewhere. After further analysis and consultation with other astronomers, the PanSTARRS team published a paper in the journal Nature on October 25, 2017, announcing the discovery of the first observed interstellar object. The name Aumuamua was chosen, which is Hawaiian for a messenger from afar arriving first. It was a fitting name, given this object had traveled across the vast gulf of interstellar space and was the first of its kind ever detected passing through our neighborhood in the Milky Way. The PanSTARRS-1 telescope that made this historic discovery is located at the summit of Haleakala, on Maui Island. It's an advanced wide-field survey instrument with a 1.8-meter mirror and was designed for panoramic surveys of the sky as well as detecting near-Earth objects. Its ability to rapidly scan large areas of sky proved crucial for detecting Oumuamua when it passed through. Since its initial discovery, Further observations by larger telescopes, like the Hubble Space Telescope, helped reveal more details about Oumuamua's strange appearance and behavior. But its origin remains mysterious, and it sparked renewed interest in studying any other interstellar visitors that may pass through our solar system in the future. The PanSTARRS survey continues monitoring the skies for further clues from interstellar space. In the months following the initial discovery of Oumuamua, Astronomers utilize some of the most powerful telescopes to study it up close and try to unravel the mystery of what this object was. While it was rapidly fading as it sped away from our solar system, new observations helped reveal intriguing clues about its nature. The Hubble Space Telescope was able to observe Oumuamua in November 2017, obtaining the first clear images of it. Hubble revealed Oumuamua had a remarkably elongated shape, resembling a cigar or very flattened asteroid. Nothing discovered in our solar system previously had such an unusual morphology. This prompted astronomers to suggest it may have originated from an entirely different formation environment than our solar system's objects. The elongated shape could indicate it was formed under different gravitational forces than planets or moons. The Spitzer Space Telescope also studied Oumuamua in December 2017 using its infrared cameras. Spitzer was able to make the most accurate size estimate yet determining Oumuamua was about 400 meters long. Intriguingly, Spitzer saw the object was reddish in color, suggesting its surface was covered in irradiated organic molecules. A team led by astronomers at the University of Hawaii and the University of Maryland then analyzed these observations. In a February 2018 paper in Nature, they concluded Oumuamua's unusual shape and color were consistent with it being a rocky object that had undergone radiation damage from centuries traveling through the harsh environment of interstellar space, while mysteries still remained about exactly where it originated from and what its composition was. These telescope observations helped confirm Oumuamua was unlike any other solar system object and provided important clues to its interstellar origins and journey. Astronomers continue to study its path for more insights into this unique messenger from another star. When Oumuamua passed close to our sun, 
the hydrogen would have been released due to heating, providing propulsion, and accelerating the object in a way that fit its peculiar motions. This could explain both its unusual velocity and lack of a visible coma or tail seen in other comets. To test their theory, the team modeled how hydrogen sublimation could have affected Oumuamua's path. Remarkably, the simulations matched observations with incredible accuracy. Their paper brought together evidence from astronomy and chemistry to provide a unifying explanation for the first observed interstellar object. While debate continues among scientists, this hydrogen-rich comet theory remains one of the most comprehensive explanations for the unusual properties of our mysterious visitor from another star. As astronomers find more interlopers like Oumuamua passing through, their insights could be key to interpreting these rare cosmic messages. Among the many theories proposed to explain Oumuamua's unusual characteristics, one idea captured the public's imagination, that it could be an alien spacecraft sent from some distant world. When Oumuamua was first observed to have a strange, elongated shape unlike any natural object seen before, some astronomers began speculating it may be artificial in origin. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb was among those who suggested this possibility. In a November 2017 paper, Loeb and his colleague Shmuel Bialy proposed Oumuamua could be a thin solar sail, accelerated by solar radiation pressure. They suggested an advanced civilization may use such a technology to achieve interstellar travel at high speeds. This alien probe theory gained mainstream attention. However, upon further scrutiny, most astronomers found it did not stand up to scientific scrutiny. No signs of technology like radio signals were detected from Oumuamua, as one would expect from an artificial object. Its tumbling, irregular motions are inconsistent with a purposefully engineered craft. Natural phenomena, like sublimating ice, better explain its strange acceleration, as proposed in the hydrogen-rich comet theory. While the idea of discovering evidence of advanced alien technology passing through our solar system captured public interest, the consensus among astronomers remains that Oumuamua showed no unambiguous signs of artificiality. Natural explanations are currently more compelling given what is scientifically known. However, as more interstellar objects are discovered, the possibility of encountering an alien probe at some point can't be fully ruled out. Any unusual behaviors of future visitors may warrant revisiting this provocative idea. The discovery of Oumuamua showed we may only be detecting a small fraction of the interstellar objects passing through our solar system. With its rapid fading into darkness, many questions about this unique visitor remained unanswered. But astronomers are now preparing for the next interstellar traveler that swings through our neighborhood. The Large Synoptic Survey Telescope (LSST) is an enormous new ground-based telescope under construction in Chile that will have a wide field of view and survey the sky every few nights. When operational in 2023, it promises to be much more sensitive at detecting faint interstellar interlopers than previous surveys. Meanwhile, the European Space Agency is developing the Comet Interceptor mission to be ready for rapid response. Slated for launch in 2029, it will wait near the Earth-Sun L2 point until an incoming comet or interstellar object is spotted. Then the spacecraft will adjust course for a close flyby and sample collection. Some astronomers have also proposed concepts for small, agile nanoprobes that could be dispatched to rendezvous with interstellar visitors and return detailed close-up observations. Advances in miniaturized instrumentation and solar electric propulsion could enable such ambitious sample return missions in the future. As detection capabilities improve, characterizing any interstellar object's composition, structure, and even potential signs of biology or technology will help unlock clues to planet and star formation across the galaxy. The discovery of Oumuamua showed we're just beginning to uncover humanity's cosmic neighborhood. However, two years later, in August 2019, amateur astronomer Gennady Borisov discovered the only other known interstellar interloper, now called 2i Borisov, using a self-built telescope at the Margo Observatory in Nachnaj, Crimea. While typical asteroids and comets in the solar system orbit the Sun, Oumuamua and Borisov are celestial nomads, spending most of their time wandering interstellar space. The existence of such interlopers in the solar system had been hypothesized, but scientists expected them to be rare. 
I never thought we would see one, says astrophysicist Susanna Falsner of the Ulick Supercomputing Center in Germany, at least not in her lifetime. With these two discoveries, scientists now suspect that interstellar interlopers are much more common. Right now, within the orbit of Neptune alone, there could be around 10,000 Oumuamuasize interstellar objects, estimates planetary scientist David Jewett of UCLA, co-author of an overview of the current understanding of interstellar interlopers in the 2023 Annual Review of Astronomy and Astrophysics. Researchers are busy trying to answer basic questions about these alien objects, including where they come from and how they end up wandering the galaxy. Interlopers could also provide a new way to probe features of distant planetary systems. But first, astronomers need to find more of them. At least since the beginning of the 18th century, astronomers have considered the possibility that interstellar objects exist. More recently, computer models have shown that the solar system sent its own population of smaller bodies into the voids of interstellar space long ago due to gravitational interactions with the giant planets. Scientists expected most interlopers to be exocomets composed of icy materials. Borisov fit this profile. It had a tail made of gases and dust created by ices that evaporated during its close passage to the Sun. This suggests that it originated in the outer region of a planetary system, where temperatures were cold enough for gases like carbon monoxide to have frozen into its rocks. At some point, something tossed Borisov roughly a kilometer across out of its system. One potential culprit is a stellar flyby. The gravity of a passing star can eject smaller bodies, known as planetesimals, from the outer reaches of a system, according to a recent study led by Falzner. A giant planet could also eject an object from the outer regions of a planetary system if an asteroid or comet gets close enough for the planet's gravitational tug to speed up the smaller body enough for it to escape its star's hold. Close approaches can also happen when planets migrate across their planetary systems, as Neptune is thought to have done in the early solar system. Oumuamua, on the other hand, is not what scientists expected. Observations suggest it is quite elongated, perhaps 240 meters long and as narrow as 40 meters. And unlike Borisov, it didn't show any gas or dust activity, raising the possibility that it originated closer to its star, where it was too warm for ices to form. If this was the case, a stellar flyby or giant planet probably would not have been able to pull the object out of its system. Instead, it may have been ejected during the death throes of its star. Pulses of gas from a dying star could push planets and planetesimals outward, destabilizing their orbits enough to send some of them flying into interstellar space. It's possible, however, that Oumuamua did form in the cold outer reaches of its system and, as it neared the Sun, developed a gas tail that was not detected by telescopes. One clue is that the object sped up more than would be expected from the gravity of the solar system alone. A recent study suggests that such a boost could have come from small amounts of hydrogen outgassing that the telescopes didn't detect. Several asteroids in our solar system may have gotten a similar boost from outgassing of water vapor, according to another study. Future observations by the James Webb Space Telescope and by the JAXA Hayabusa 2 Extended Mission which will rendezvous with one of these solar system asteroids, known as Dark Comets, in 2031, may detect low levels of outgassing. We'll have to wait and see, but they could be analogs of Oumuamua, says planetary scientist Daryl Seligman of Cornell University, co-author with Jewett of the Review of Interstellar Interlopers. Now, Oumuamua is beyond the orbit of Neptune, and Comet Borisov is almost as far. They will continue their journey back into interstellar space, where it's anyone's guess what will happen next. Perhaps they will spend an eternity wandering the vast voids of space, or maybe they will be captured by a star. Or they could collapse into a disk of evolving gas and dust in a new planetary system and begin their journeys all over again. Astronomers estimate there could be more interstellar objects in the Milky Way than stars in the observable universe finding more of them will offer a new way to probe the mysteries of the cosmos.